everyone. You're watching the last episode of Kendall Live for this semester, but we've got a great one for you. This week we have the latest in music news, a discussion on our favorite and least favorite holiday songs, and an exclusive scenic session with Raquel Roberts and Jared Sokoloff. I'm your host, Sarah Lambert. I'm Scott Jones. And I'm Mikey Martin. Let's get started with some music news. On Wednesday, November 18th, the full lineup for the 2016 Firefly Music Festival was released. After last year's stellar lineup featuring acts such as The Killers, Snoop Dogg, Foster the People, and Paul McCartney, many thought that this year's lineup would fall short. Luckily, the non-believers were proven wrong. This year's lineup includes Mumford & Sons, Florence and the Machine, Tame Impala, Churches, Earth, Wind & Fire, and many newer acts such as Robert DeLong, L. King, and Cirque Wave performing as well. The 2016 Firefly Festival is one that you're not going to want to miss. Blues rock band Alabama Shakes recently had their song, Sound and Color, featured on an Apple iPod Pro commercial. Thanks to the commercial, the song's popularity skyrocketed, landing on both the top 10 digital rock and top 10 digital alternative charts for the first time. Additionally, Sound and Color has jumped from 145,000 online streams to 420,000 in the three-week span that the commercial has been on the air. The band's album of the same name was released in April of 2015 and has sold over 790,000 copies to date. Remember Lady Gaga's hit single, Poker Face? Well, the 2008 song just reached diamond status, which means it's been platinum certified over 10 times, equaling over 10 million sales. This isn't the first time one of Lady Gaga's songs has reached diamond, as Bad Romance achieved this honor in 2013. Surprisingly, Lady Gaga was the first female artist to ever have a single gold diamond, cementing her place in music history. She'll also be honored as Woman of the Year at Billboard's Women in Music Festival event on December 11th, some past honorees include Missy Elliott, Demi Lovato, and Lana Del Rey. All right, now let's discuss our favorite and the least favorite <laughs> holiday songs. Michael, would you like to start? Yeah, okay. Um, I have a bunch. Okay, <laughs> I have a lot too. I have a lot I have of more than, I have more than two. Okay, okay. just so, name them. So, Last oh Christmas by Wham. Okay, of course. The best. I love the best. that song. I think that's one of the best songs That song ever. has been ever. on in our suite <laughs> since before Halloween. Okay, great. Um, Disgusting. Our love is like a holiday. Michael Bolton. EJ. He knows the show. Yeah. I've been to, to Paris, Paris. <laughs> London, <laughs> LA. That, yes. Yeah, great issues. song. That is <laughs> it's, it's, not on, it's not on Spotify, but right. it's phenomenal. I can't believe it's not on Spotify it's in not, this so day and age. Yeah. Yeah. It, yeah, it really should be. I agree, In all yeah. honesty. True, true. Um, all I Want for Christmas is You, Mariah Carey. That's kind of a safe uh, choice. Okay, yeah. but, the house okay, but I, everyone likes that song. You can't deny that every time it comes on the car. Well, okay, let's calm down, all right. people. Let's calm down. <laughs> <laughs> But okay, every time it comes in the car, you can't deny you don't sing along. No, 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 that's what I'm saying. Like everyone. Okay, so you're like, well, I love it. I'm sorry, okay. No, it's fine. But do you I'm have basic, another song? I'm sorry. Like, do you okay, have I'm another basic. song? Yeah, it's another song. Do you have like another um, one that you like? Hark, hear the bells. Okay, that's, that's now see, that's one. original. Classic. Sing in choir. I don't know how that one goes. It's like hark, hear the it. bells, sweet silver bells. Oh, that one's that. good. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Never, yeah. Or is, I don't, might have another name. I don't know. It's a good song though. Now I'm gonna just drop the all-time best one right now. Okay. Christmas wrapping. The waitresses. Yeah. Let's, let's, let's be real. Yeah, that is disagrees. great of song. They're a good band. It is. It's, you, it's catchy. It is. You can't go wrong, is what <laughs> I'm saying. Also, I really love the Beach Boys Christmas album. They had a Christmas album? Oh, yeah, they did. Yeah, it's, it's, it's phenomenal. Fire. Wait, really? Yeah, really good. It's, it's great. Do you want to say more favorites, or should we? Yeah, just, yeah I, I, have, I, I have more. Okay. Merry Why Christmas, Happy favorites? Holidays by NSYNC. Okay. Phenomenal song. I don't have any other favorites. How do you not have any this other favorites? This Christmas okay. by Joe. Because can we move on to least favorites? Because I have a lot of those. All right, let's talk. Let's talk least favorites. <laughs> My least favorites are all other Christmas songs. Oh. Well, I don't know why. Because I worked at a grocery store. Oh, sorry, language. <laughs> oh, leave that out. I'm sorry. All right, keep going, keep going. Anyway, <laughs> I worked in a grocery store, and the second after Thanksgiving's over, all they play are Christmas songs on repeat. Not even different Christmas songs. The same Christmas songs. So I'm sick of all Christmas songs. They hear them every single day. Now, I, I understand what you're saying. I have a deep hatred for Christmas songs, <laughs> clearly. <laughs> um, all right. Do you, have, do you have a least favorite? I, I just I don't feel like, like, like slow ones. I don't like the slow ones either. I don't have like, like a specific least favorite in mind, though. Really? Just like yeah. It's so easy to hate slow Christmas songs. Ones. Just name a few. I'll tell you how I feel. Like, name a song. Grow up a red-nosed reindeer. I feel like that's Classic. a prime song. Yeah. No, it's like, it's, like, it's like Silent Night, like, just, like, boring. No, oh, Silent Night goes in. Silent Night. Silent Night goes it's in. It's not terrible, no, it but I still don't like it. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Christmas Shoes makes me so sad. Yeah, that's a real oh, The hippo God. song. I don't know that one. For Christmas is the hippopotamus thing. I don't know it. I don't Sister know loves it. that one. Okay, so we've only talked Christmas. Do we have any, like, Hanukkah songs? Dreidel. That's Dreidel songs. Thanksgiving songs, maybe? Are they Thanksgiving songs? I don't. Probably not. 
Oh, yeah. All right, so is that is that it? Is that all you guys have to get off your chests? I think I have more. Now that's what I call Christmas Volume I think we should All right, so that's that? Oh, yeah. All right, so is that is that it? Is that all you guys have to get off your chests? I think I think we should All right, so is that it? Is that all you guys have to get off your chests? Now that's what I call Christmas Volume I Christmas Volume 1. Now that's what I call Christmas Volume 1. Does that have chestnuts roasting? Does it have chestnuts roasting? Whole album. Whole album. I don't believe so. Oh. Disc two? Disc two, maybe. No, it doesn't. No. Come on. I'm just saying, disc two is the quality. Yeah, the two discs. Yeah, it does. Are the three discs? No, only two. Oh. Only two. It's great. High quality. Okay. Scott? What? I don't wanna know. All right. Well, I'll tell you what you guys have to do. Oh, okay. To finish off the episode, we've got a scenic session with Raquel and Jared, who cover John Mayer and Porcupine Tree, two completely different artists. Check it out. Hi, I'm Raquel Roberts. And I'm Jared Sokoloff. And we're going to be performing for LTV Scenic Sessions. We're going to be playing two songs today, Stop This Train by John Mayer, and then we're going to close out with Trains by Porcupine Tree.
Swag. Swag. Ready? Yeah. semester of Kendall Live. We want to thank everyone who watched an episode or hosted or performed on the show. Once again, I'm your host, Sarah Lambert. I'm Scott Jones. And I'm Mikey Martin. Have a great winter break.